kalahat na ang ginagawa natin ito at mga gagawin pa, pataas ang aking kumpiyansa na malalampasan din natin ang hamon ng ating pinagdadaanan. Dahil ito ang pangunahing hinain ng taong bayan. Hindi tayo titigil sa paglalaban sa kahirapan at sa paghahanap ng lunas upang maibalik sa normal ang presyo ng bilihin, lalo na ang bigas. At ngayon po, naririnig po namin ang malakas na sigaw ng taong bayan taban sa mga pogo. Disguising as legitimate entities, their operations have ventured into illicit areas furthest from gaming, such as financial scamming, money laundering, prostitution, human trafficking, kidnapping, brutal torture, even murder. The grave abuse and disrespect to our system of laws must stop. Kailangan nang itigil ang panggulo nito sa ating lipunan at paglalapastangan sa ating bansa. Effective today, all pogos are banned. I hereby, I hereby instruct PADCO to wind down and cease the operation of POGOS by the end of the year. The DOLE, in coordination with our economic managers, shall use the time between now and then to find new jobs for our countrymen who will be displaced. This will solve many of the problems that we are encountering. It will solve many of the problems that we have been encountering, but it will not solve all of them. To solve all the problems that we have been suffering under, all officials, law enforcers, workers in government, and most of all, the citizenry, must always be vigilant, principled, and think of the health of the nation. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me end by recalling the words of a great man. Let not anyone pacify his conscience by the delusion that he can do no harm if he takes no part and, no, and forms no opinion. Bad men need nothing more to compass their ends than that good men should look on and do nothing. He is not a good man. <laughs>